Now it's time to do a limiting, excuse me, limiting reactant problem. This is A on the homework, but there are a number of limiting reactant problems. And you will have to put in a number, and the asterisk means that you will have to show your work. Now, um, let's read the question. It says, if you begin with 16.44 grams of aluminum solid, one of our reactants, and 21.65 grams of oxygen gas, another one of our reactants, how many grams of aluminum oxide can be formed? Now, this is a definite limiting reactant problem. You can tell a limiting reactant problem because there are uh, grams uh, or an amount of one of the reactants, and there are grams or another way to tell an amount of the other reactant. And let's try and color code this again if I can keep it straight. So, um, you're, so and when you do a limiting reactant, you're going to do two sets of uh, picket fences, what we might call two sets of stoichiometry, or two sets of unit conversion problems, just to get one answer. And that one answer is always the smallest number of grams or the smallest amount of product that you can make. So let's show this how you do this. So we have 16.44 grams of aluminum. This particular problem is more grandma makes magnificent gravy or whatever you've come up with. And uh, it always will go like this. Turn grams into moles using the molar mass from the periodic table. We have aluminum, 26.98. And the molar mass never considers the coefficients. The coefficients are always in this step over here, at least in the way I do it. We have moles of aluminum for every four moles of aluminum reacted. Ooh, we're trying. Oh, we're trying to get aluminum oxide. There are two moles of aluminum oxide produced, and then we can go to our periodic table and look up two times the molar mass of aluminum plus. Now open a parenthesis here. Uh, three times the molar mass of oxygen is 48. I get 101.96 for this molar mass. Grams aluminum oxide. And that's the part for the aluminum, now let's do the oxygen. We have 21.65 grams of that. Of O2. We know that oxygen is 16, two of them is 32. And now we have a three to two mole ratio, three moles of oxygen reacted can produce two moles of aluminum oxide. Oh, I lost my color coding there. Please forgive me, but... And now our last step is always the same, or uh, in both of these at least. Now we can calculate our two values and see which one is smaller. So we've got 16.44 divided by 26.98 times two divided by four times 101.96 and I get 31.1 grams of aluminum oxide. 
if aluminum is the limiting reactant. Now let's do the oxygen. We've got 21.65. We have a larger amount of it, but the molar mass is bigger. I don't know, so sometimes I never know how these uh, are going to end up. But divide it by 32, times it by 2, divide it by 3, and then times it by 101.96. And this time we get 45.99 or 46.0 grams rounded to three sig figs. Now you never add them at this point. Remember you can only make as much as until you run out of your limiting reactant. So how much can you make here? You can make uh, 31.1 grams, and you're just going to put 31.1 as the answer if the, you get this problem.